Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about kind of a weird subject. We're going to be talking about underarms. I have been seeing a lot lately questions, I guess because it's the summertime. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking how I keep my underarms looking so light. Now dark underarms are something that a lot of girls are self-conscious about, especially in the summertime. You don't want to worry about having to always keep your arms down at your sides or always having to wear long sleeves to cover them. That could get really, really annoying. Believe it or not, there are a lot of things that you can do to prevent or even treat dark underarms and I'm going to get into that in a second, but first I want to talk about what causes them. The number one cause of dark underarms is actually a lot of exposure to deodorants, antiperspirants and depilatories which are kind of like those hair dissolving creams like Nair and stuff like that. So the chemicals in these items not only cause hyperpigmentation which is a darkening of the skin, but they actually also cause a thickening of the skin as well. So over time, the more that you use these items, your skin is going to become darker. It's also going to become thicker and tougher and not as smooth and subtle as it had once been. I always have a problem saying that word. Subtle, supple, subtle. It's basically not going to be like a baby's butt anymore. For example, take a look and take a feel of the skin underneath your arms and then compare it to the skin on the top of your arm or underneath your arm and you're going to see a big difference. All right, so if you have a problem with dark underarms, we're going to talk about seven ways that you can treat them. Number one is very simple and it's waxing your underarms instead of shaving. When you wax your underarms, the hair actually gets pulled out from the entire follicle all the way from the root to tip. So there's no five o'clock shadow. When you just shave, it takes off the surface of the hair but the root is still there and it creates an illusion of a darker underarm. So the first thing that you want to do is wax them babies. Number two, lemon juice. Lemon juice is a natural skin lightener because of the acidity level. It's a great bleaching agent and it also exfoliates your underarms at the same exact time. This treatment is a little bit on the harsher side, so if you have very sensitive skin, I would recommend that you skip this one. But if you don't have sensitive skin, what you're gonna do is cut a lemon into two wedges and rub them underneath your arms for one to two minutes before you hop in the shower. Number three, something that acts as another exfoliant and it's baking soda. Every single time I say baking soda, I can't say it without singing the song. Baking soda, I got baking soda. <laughs> anyway, baking soda is a really, really good at exfoliating. And the reason that it's good to exfoliate your skin is because if you let that dead skin build up underneath your underarms, it sounds so gross, I know, but it's actually really microscopic and it doesn't mean that you're dirty or anything. It just means that you really have to scrub good and exfoliate all that gunk out of there because if you do let it build up, it's going to give an overall darkish gray appearance. So with baking soda you don't have to be exact you're gonna mix it with about equal parts of water until it forms a paste and you're going to rub it underneath each underarm so I don't think that I need to keep doing that for every single example but you want to rub it underneath your underarms for three minutes again right before you shower number four is using potatoes now pa potatoes are naturally acidic and they're also a bleaching agent but they're very very mild so this is good for people that have very very sensitive skin if you can't use a lemon the only thing is this one you're gonna have to put a little bit more work in you're gonna cut two little um, potato wedges and put them underneath your arms for five to ten minutes twice a day sometimes even three times a day so it's something that takes a little bit more effort but say that you can't handle the acidity of a lemon on your underarms definitely try potato wedges number five is an overnight saffron mask I know it sounds weird an overnight mask for your underarms but trust me I know what I'm talking about this is one that I actually have tried myself and even though saffron is definitely on the expensive side it's one of these little tips that delivers one of the best results and some people that use this actually say that they don't need to even use a deodorant in the morning because saffron kills all the odor causing bacteria and germs under your arms I still pair it with a deodorant antiperspirant in the morning but hey to each your own so the way that this one is performed is you're going to take a pinch of saffron and mix it with three tablespoons of milk pop it underneath your underarms rub it in make sure it's really saturated it is going to dry so you're not going to feel wet all night long and then you're going to wash it off in the morning number six if you don't want to invest in saffron you can actually use milk so milk is actually high in vitamins fatty and lactic acid that all help aid in lightening the skin so the way that you do this one is you mix two tablespoons of whole milk with one tablespoon of flour let it dissolve and form into a paste 
slather that on underneath your underarms. Keep this one on for 15 minutes and then wash off. And last but not least is one that you can do every single day and this is actually one that I do every single day in my shower and it's a coconut and brown sugar scrub. So this works for two reasons. The brown sugar is naturally abrasive so it's definitely gonna help get rid of all the dead skin and the buildup that's underneath your underarms. And then the coconut oil is very high in vitamin E which is also an aid in skin lightening. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. I know that this question is gonna come up and the answer is yes, you can also use all of these on your elbows, on your knees, or even that dark area around your mustache that us girls can sometimes get. The only thing is depending on how sensitive your skin is, I would definitely say go more towards the potatoes rather than the lemon. Just use something that's not very acidic if you're gonna use it on your face. As far as your elbows and your knees, you can be very abrasive and you can use the lemon juice, the baking soda, and the more harsher items. So let me know if you guys use anything specifically to treat or to avoid dark underarms. Again, I don't do all these tips, but I do do two of them on an almost daily basis. Definitely interested to hear what you guys think and let me know if you guys have any other topics that you want me to cover that might be taboo or things that you're embarrassed to ask your mother or your doctor or your friends. Any topics that you guys want covered here on my channel, definitely leave me a comment and let me know down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.